Okay, let's take a look at the skin editor in Adobe Captivate 5.5 so that we get an idea of how we can control certain aspects of the way our project looks. So the skin editor is the wrapper, so to speak, that wraps around the project that gives you your playback controls, your table of contents, makes it look and feel a certain way. And you do have a lot of control over the formatting of it. So let's talk about that. So I'm in the Lesson 9 folder in the file called Covered Bridges. I'm going up under the Project menu, and I'm going to Skin Editor. Now in the Skin Editor, you're going to see three buttons over here on the left-hand side. The first one is Playback Control, and that's basically the one we're going to talk about mainly today, in this particular lesson at least. The middle one is Borders, and the one on the far right is Table of Contents. So make sure Playback Control is selected, and you'll see at the top you have different types of skins that you can pick from that are already formatted for you. For example, Citrus. Give it a minute and it'll pop up. That one really doesn't match here. City Night. That happens to be one that I like. It's kind of understated. Now you'll notice that each one of these, it's taking a few seconds for it to show because it has to go in and rebuild that slide number one each time. So this is a fairly complex slide. It's got a button and a bunch of images and a bunch of things on here. So here's a great trick for you when you're deciding what skin to use. I'm going to close out of my skin editor here and I'm going to add a blank slide to my project. So I'm going up here and right clicking and going to slides, new slide. I'm just going to add a blank slide and move it up to the top. Now that's a plain white slide and that's okay. But if you're trying to match color, a better idea might be to actually have a slide like this one down here that's blank but has the coloring on it. So let me get rid of this white one that I created. If you have a master slide created or you have a, just the basic colors that your project is going to be including, you might want to put a fairly simple slide at the very beginning. Go back to your skin editor. And now it'll build a lot faster when you go in here and start choosing from your different styles that you're looking at. So here's default. So build a little bit faster this way, but I still have the color that I can look at. So I can go in and decide maybe, um, oh, let's try pearls. Let's see what pearls looks like. Okay, clearly doesn't go with it. So you can go in here and choose some different ones. Steel is one that I've used a lot because it's really kind of plain. That one is pretty good. I think that might be the one that I stick with. If you're going to make any changes to your settings here, it's highly recommended that you save it as a separate style. Don't want to write over it your original one. So if you're going in here and unchecking some of these boxes, save it as a separate style with the little save button here. And that way you'll keep the original factory settings. So you can turn on your play bar. You can turn on your closed captioning. Lots of things that you can do here to set up your skin to look a certain way. You even have control down here under your playback colors if you want. The center button up here at the top is for borders. If you wanted to put any borders around the outside, you do have some different styles that you can pick from for texture. I really don't use these, but feel free to try them if you want. They give you a kind of border around the outside of your project. Um, so here I've added something at the bottom. So if you wanted to add those around the outside, you can. I'm going to uncheck it for now because it's not something that I typically use. But this is the basic look and feel of working with your skin so that when you export your project, and we call it publishing in Adobe Captivate, it will have this look and feel about it. So you'll have your table of contents if you decide to use one, and your playback controls that can have a certain look and feel to match the branding of your project. So that's the skin editor in Adobe Captivate 5.5.